Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Eucharist, we lift up to the Lord all our needs, all our petitions and intentions this day. May we learn how to surrender our will to the will of God. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, You raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray.
Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The Philistines gathered for an attack on Israel. Israel went out to engage them in battle and camped at Ebenezer, while the Philistines camped at Aphek. The Philistines then drew up in battle formation against Israel. After a fierce struggle, Israel was defeated by the Philistines, who slew about 4,000 men on the battlefield. When the troops retired to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Why has the Lord permitted us to be defeated today by the Philistines? Let us fetch the ark of the Lord from Shiloh, that it may go into battle among us, and save us from the grabs of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh and brought from there the ark of the Lord of hosts, who is enthroned upon the cherubim. The two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were there with the ark of God. When the ark of the Lord arrived in the camp, all Israel shouted so loudly that the earth resounded. The Philistines, hearing the noise of shouting, asked, What can this loud shouting in the camp of the Hebrews mean? On learning that the ark of the Lord had come into the camp, the Philistines were frightened. They said, Gods have come to their camp. They said also, Woe to us! This has never happened before. Woe to us! Who can deliver us from the power of these mighty gods? These are the gods that struck the Egyptians with various plagues and with pestilence. Take courage and be mandy, Philistines. Otherwise, you will become slaves to the Hebrews as they were your slaves. So fight manfully. The Philistines fought and Israel was defeated. Every man fled to his own tent. It was a disastrous defeat in which Israel lost 30,000 foot soldiers. The Ark of God was captured and Eli's two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, were among the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Yet now you have cast us off and put us in disgrace, and you go not forth with our armies. You have let us be driven back by our foes, those who ate at us, plundered us at will. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. You made us the reproach of our neighbors, the mockery and the scorn of those around us. You made us a byword among the nations, a laughing stock among the peoples. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Why do you hide your face, forgetting our woe and our oppression? For our souls are bowed down to the dust, our bodies are pressed to the earth. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Please stand. Spirit and life, you have. 
of the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, whining him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, that will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord mm. Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. I don't know if, like me, you find our first reading today a little bit strange and curious because it is about defeat. Israel defeated. Most of the time, we hear in the stories of the first reading the calling of Israel how Israel was loved by God, how Israel was victorious with God. But today, in our first reading, we hear the defeat of Israel. I think, my dear brothers and sisters, the first reading reminds us today of the reality of defeat in life. We are reminded today that in life, we do not always get what we want. In life, we do not always receive what we expect to receive. There are times that we win, but there will always be times that we will lose. Yung unang pagbasa po natin na narinig ay tungkol sa pagkatalo ng Israel. Ang mga Filisteo, the Philistines, tinalo nila ang Israel. Natalo sa labanan ang Israel. Pinapaalala lamang nito sa atin ng unang pagbasa natin na hindi tayo laging panalo. Darating ang pagkakataon sa buhay natin na matatalo rin tayo. Hindi natin nakukuha ang gusto natin. Hindi natin natatanggap kung ano yung gusto nating matanggap. And my dear brothers and sisters, the readings today teach us that if we are defeated, sometimes we just need to surrender the defeat to Jesus, to God, so that He could give us peace. 
peace of mind, peace of heart. The beautiful responsorial psalm that we read today from Psalm 44 is the prayer of Israel when they were defeated. It was an act of prayer, an act of surrender to God. I think we must learn this, my dear brothers and sisters, how to surrender our defeats to God so that He could give us peace. The Gospel reading today also teaches us how to yield, to surrender, to lift up everything to God, even our defeats in life. In our Gospel reading today, we hear about the man with leprosy, a leper. And when he went to Jesus, he said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. It was a prayer of surrender. Lord, whatever you wish, to do to me whatever you wish whatever you will for me the leper surrendered his sickness to Jesus and Jesus was able to give him not only healing but peace because he was able to surrender everything to Jesus Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa araw na ito ay itinuturo sa atin ng mga pagbasa na darating ang pagkakataon sa buhay na makakaranas tayo ng pagkatalo sa buhay. Sana ay matutunan natin isuko lahat sa Diyos, ibigay sa Kanya lahat kahit ang mga pagkatalo datin upang bigyan naman tayo ni Jesus ng kapayapaan ng isip at puso. Maybe, my dear brothers and sisters, you still have defeats that you cannot accept until now. Do you still have defeats that you still cannot accept and you still want to avenge yourself? Surrender your defeats to Jesus so that he could give us peace, peace of mind, and peace of heart. Amen. Please stand. Believing in the Lord's compassion, we now approach our Heavenly Father with confidence that our prayers will be answered. For every petition, let us say, Father of mercies, hear us. Father of mercies, hear us. That the Church may never fail in her duty of welcoming the marginalized and those excluded from society, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of mercies, mercies hear us that our government may deliver quality health programs and intensify their efforts in promoting healthy environments let us pray to the lord father, father of, of mercies hear us that we as a community may reach out with love and care to those who are ignored by society let us pray to the lord father, father of mercies hear us that the poor and the sick may find medical attention and support from kind-hearted people let us pray to the lord father, father of mercies hear us that those who have died in christ may live in the true freedom and happiness of heaven let us pray to the lord father, father of mercies hear us Merciful Father, deepen our spirit of compassion and understanding for those who suffer. 
may we model our lives after Jesus who sought freedom, healing, and peace for every man. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, uh -huh.